you just have to take off little by little when you're going across the grain like that because I'm right in some knots right in there in the center right here so that makes it a little bit more difficult
Now we got another mortise right here, and then I've got to cut out a mortise down there. Um, and then I think I'll have this one done. This is what actually takes so long when you're doing timber framing is uh, laying out your post and beam and then cutting out with your um, different types of equipment that you've got. I use the drill, the saw, and the chisel, which seems to work the best and easiest for me.
Friends, guess what? It's that time again, time for another giveaway. So for the month of December, we want to congratulate on the Outpost channel, Jerry Bailey, congratulations. And on the Review channel, a person that goes by the name of Curmudgeon. Congratulations to the both of you. Be sure and contact us at SmokyMountainOutpost at gmail.com on how we can get the items to you as soon as possible. Now for the month of January, we have decided to give away, yes, ta-da! This is a pencil by Pika. It's got its own holder. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's like a regular carpenter's pencil, and it's really nice. And it has its own holder, and then right here is a piece of sandpaper that you can fine tune the pencil if you would like to. So again, congratulations to the winners of December. How do you enter these? You basically just leave a comment in the comment section below. So good luck guys, let's get back to the video. Remember the meaty chili? Well, we like meaty soup. Well, Jennifer's making some soup uh, this week because it's a little rainy outside and that's going to taste 
awfully good. But I'm afraid she's going to choke. She's going to tell you. <laughs> right? Yep. <laughs> okay. See, I'm laughing and I haven't even heard it yet. <laughs> Did you hear um, the one about the three holes in the ground filled with water? No. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, hey, 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 what's up, guys? Guess who drove up the driveway? We don't even know. What's your name? Bob. Bob, my name's Richard. Good Richard. to meet you. <laughs> this is Jennifer. No, he's a subscriber and um, been watching the channel. I think you said from... Three plus years. Where we were working on the cabin right here. So he's seen everything from that point forward. Anyway, come to find out, Bob is from... This not too far from here. Actually, he's up close to you, Nathan. If you're watching this video, he doesn't live too far, uh, or was born, or was raised not too far from where you're at. Anyway, and he's been watching your channel for a long time too. So somehow or another, he connected the two of us together. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. So he lives a little further south than we do, and he decided that while he was up in this area, you were visiting someone else, right? Yeah. yeah that he wanted to come by, so he wrote us uh, by email, and we said, sure, drop on by. So, Jennifer, you got any good jokes? No. No. That's a first. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to him. You know, when the kids were small, uh, my ex-wife and I, you know, during their lifetime, because Jennifer is four years older than Patrick, actually, mm -hmm. but during their lifetime, we moved around a whole lot, but they always found us. Yeah, it's a shame. <laughs> How did they catch us? How did they catch us? <laughs> they always found us. <laughs> my jaws uh, hurt from smiling. Oh my goodness. Hey, where did the deer go to get his tail fixed? To get his tail fixed? Yep. I don't know. The retail shop? <laughs> you know who has more letters than the alphabet? No. The post office. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it was X, Y, or Z. <laughs> the post office. You know why the broom was late for the meeting? No. He overswept. <laughs> <laughs> Where do boats go when they get sick? Boats? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To the boat dock. Oh, boo. <laughs> Smoky. <laughs> <laughs> I know, he agreed. He booed and he did yeah. too. What? <laughs> that was a bad joke, wasn't it? <laughs> What's the best way to watch a fishing tournament? Live stream. <laughs> Dad. Come on, come on. Five or ten. What did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? Supplies! <laughs> I was going to say that. No! Supplies! He did get me. Well, friends, Bob said that he's going to have to leave, so we're going to go out and show him around a little bit while he, uh, I think the rain let up enough where we can go out and take a look-see. So, let's get dressed and run out. Anyway, we told him that whenever he's by here, to be sure and stop by any time, and he can tell jokes with Jennifer. Yep. With the best of them. Yep, right? because he tells them better than I do. Lord, we ask that you bless this food to nourish our bodies. We're thankful for this day. We ask that you watch over our guests who just left. Forgive us of our sins and shortcomings, and we'll give you all the glory and praise in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to try this soup now that Jennifer made. We did offer mm. our guest one, but he was full. Yeah, Bob didn't want to eat any, and we didn't want to eat any in front of him. So we just waited till he left, and I'll tell you what. It's pretty good. He doesn't know what he's missing. Nope. He's a really nice guy, too. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
You know, when I run the boards through the sawmill, I have to dust them off like this. Otherwise, if I let it stay on there and it dries, I basically have to scrape it off because it will get hard and it will stick. Well friends, I'm going to switch gears a little bit. My son-in-law called and said that he can come up. He's got some time off to help me uh, fell one of these big trees behind the workshop and as I was down here I got to looking I was so excited to start this last section this first post I forgot to add the mortise on each side for the adjoining bottom beams to come in and meet so I've already dug out one mortise right here I'm going to get ready and flip this over cut the other one out then I've got everything that I need except those two bottom beams to be able to put uh, this section up right here. This is going to go really quick, I'm hoping. Anyway, let's go ahead and get that done.
Well, we didn't quite get that tree laid where we want it, but it's close enough. It's going to probably provide about 70 feet worth of material to work on this building. And then those other two that we've got left to take down, I think we'll finish off the whole workshop. Yeah, amen for that. Guys, listen, keep those comments coming. I'm loving them. Yeah, and by the way, if you've got any family or friends that aren't watching, be sure and share us with them. We'd certainly appreciate it. Well, folks, thanks for stopping by. We truly appreciate you, and we look forward to seeing you back here at the cabin again next time.